Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. We're down here in Axel's workshop, and it's been like like 65 days since we updated our, I think it was called the $40 holster shootout. And I'm, I'm, I'm almost forgetting now because it's been so long. We, we planned on doing it for a month. So anyway, we had previously right, Concealment Express, and I'll put a link to the initial video up here where we took a look at it. And we were trying to grab a $40 holsters and, and just to, to make a comparison. So, back in December, um, we ordered December 17th, we ordered the Concealment Express holster. And I, I really didn't have my hopes up. We actually ordered three holsters on that same day to see when they would come in and stuff. So, the, the first shootout, which you could tell by the title of this video, is going to be the Concealment Express against We the People. So, I ordered them both, Consumer Express, We The People, on December 17th. And I didn't have my hopes up high on this one because I had read some reviews online that they pinched and there were some sharp edges and people were complaining about that kind of stuff. So, December 17th, we ordered that one and we ordered the We The People. The We The People I had high hopes for because pretty much of their marketing and advertising, you know, it's a, it's a very, seems like a very patriotic kind of kind of holster and they got some nice marketing and and that was really the reason the reason why I was hoping for the the weed of people but this one came in first and that's why we went with this one because and I wrote it all down this one was the Consumer Express ordered on December 17th the very next day on the 18th I got a notification that it was shipping on the 19th I got an email on the way on the 24th out for delivery and the 24th delivered so that's one two three four five emails ordered on the 17th got it December 24th Christmas Eve pretty impressive I, I gotta say um, in between that they only sent me one other email which was for a claw upgrade and I know a lot of these um, companies that when you see them advertised on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that they flood your inbox with, with emails um, this one a total over the last 65 days they sent me 15 emails um, if you take out the, sh the order confirmation shipping and delivery emails they've only sent me one a week over the six seven weeks that that uh that we've had the holster so I thought that was pretty good at the same time we ordered the weeded people and I had been wearing this holster for a couple weeks before the We The People even came in, but we'll get to that in the We The People review. So, the Consumer Express, we opened it up, we looked at it, it looked pretty decent, and I put it on on December 26th, I believe that last video was, and I've been wearing it every single day. <clears throat> Only one day, well, every single day except one. There was one day that I did not wear it, and I didn't wear it because I was going to be under the car, rolling around, doing some stuff and I know that if I rolled onto my right hip it was gonna hurt and I actually had done it once prior where I rolled onto my right hip and I'm like oh man it's really digging in like I can't do that um, when I'm working on the car under the car with the holster on I need to take it out and put it away anyway first two weeks we used it on our Glock 26 that we showed you in the video and safe clear and empty and now I have it, and I've been wearing it, like I said, every day except for one for the last 65 days, um, doing everything, and I, and I lead, lead a pretty active day, um, working on, on a food truck during the day, and working on cars, and all the projects around the house, and we've been doing a lot of stuff, and been wearing it every day, really like it, got it on my hip, let me back up a little bit, so you can see, got it on my hip, I'm not a thin guy, let me put that camera down a little so you get a better angle at it, all right? I'm definitely not a thin guy. I'm about 5'9", pushing probably about 240 right now. I kind of yo-yo up and down between 205 and 240 when I'm dieting, and I keep giving myself an excuse. But it swallows up nice. Now, this one, I put this on this morning. It's, it's almost dinner time now, but I put this on this morning, and I've been doing a lot of work um, in and outside the house today, so my pants are kind of saggy. It really hasn't been readjusted, and this is kind of where it wound up. I usually try to keep it just past 3 o'clock really like it so there it is it comes out nice and now we're just going to make this safe we're going to remove the source of ammunition we're going to move the round that was in the chamber and safe clear and empty this is the Glock 19 that I've been carrying it with all right 
Now, do I like the holster? I really like it. It will come out nice, right? And here it is. Now, what I did notice about this, it is a dust magnet. And by that I mean when I had the 26 in it, you have this gap in the bottom and it was like filling up with dust. And then when I went to the 19, all right, and this is made for a 19, when I went to the 19, um, the 19 will come all the way out, but as you can see on the 19, the dust right in between the slide and the frame, all right, um, it's a dust magnet. I usually try to pull my gun out at least um, of the holster once a week to try to get the dust out, but there is a decent amount of of dust, lint dust, I'm, I'm calling it dust, but it's lint that is going to come out. So you definitely, I, I don't know, I guess the Kydex kind of, this is really my first Kydex holster like this. I do have a, a hybrid Kydex that we started doing a review on and really never finished that review, and we'll get back to that review one of these days. Um, but it does have a lot of, get, it seems to get a lot of lint. I don't know if the Kydex attracts lint or not. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below if that's been your um, if that's been your experience as well. But let me just pull the lint out of here. All right. Now, when we did the initial review, if you remember, we put the 26 in and it sort of had like this little little rock to it, right? My concern was was the shape right here was this shape of this little uh, this little shield so that the the top of the slides not up against your skin and I felt that it would that it would pinch me and I like I said I didn't have any of these hard edges that people were complaining about everything was nice and and polished and rounded over and all the edges are nice there's no hard or or um, well, like serrated edges where they're, they're sharp or there's like toothiness to it, nothing like that. All right, but what I did notice was that little rock, and that was after I gave like a half a turn to all the screws to make sure they were in there tight. However, when we put the 19 in it in the previous video, we noticed that rock was a little bit more, and for whatever reason, okay, you could see a little bit more of that rock in the 19. And I think it's just because the the 26 stops here and you can't rock it as much because the top of the slide is hitting in here instead of going all the way down to the end. And I would think that's the reason here. All right, so you got that rock. However, when you actually put the holster on and put the gun on the holster, that rock is never felt, it's never heard. I, I don't feel it, you know, moving around at all in the holster. It's nice and, and, it, and it fits really nice. And I really like it. Um, you could see the actually the screws here. You could see how one of the uh, the washers going around the screw is even a little chewed up. That's from me doing stuff. That's from me laying on the ground under the car doing stuff around the house. I've been doing some framing and some sheetrock and that's me damaging it. So I'm not easy on it at all and it's really held up nice and it's been very comfortable. For something hard and we'll call say plasticky, uh, it's Kydex, I really was amazed by how I just kind of like it kind of like lost itself in me. Um, the only time I really noticed here's some more of the lint in the top there you could see the lint. Um, the only time it ever pinched me was right up in here where I was a little worried about it, but it only happened a couple times, and it only happened when I sat in my recliner watching TV in the evening, um, and I had it on, and I sat, and I reclined the recliner, and it sort of like just pinched my fat, and it's because I'm fat, not because of anything else, and and then I just, I kind of readjusted, I kind of did one of these, and it went away, and you forget that it's there, and I was really, really impressed I just I had low expectations and they really blew me away the clip is is great I don't wear a I wear a regular belt I, I never have gotten a like casual wear gun belt or uh, an EDC gun belt um, this is just a regular leather belt that you would buy in a department store um, the bottom of the clip hooks on the belt nice and it's in there it's firm and secure it never feels like it's gonna fall out the holster does its job the retention 
is very good. I, I really haven't shaken it. You know, this one, you got less weight with no magazine. But here, if we put a fully loaded magazine in it, nothing in the chamber, so the gun's safe. Um, you know, it's not... I'm trying as hard as I can right here. I'm not squeezing the holster. I'm just shaking, and it's not coming out, but yet it pulls right out. Same thing with the 26. It holds the 26 just as just as firm and secure. Very impressed I am. Um, there's nothing... I don't have anything bad to say about this. I really don't. It's got... The screws haven't gotten loose. They have nice rubber... They have these nice rubber bushings in between, which... As you know, they help keep keep screws tight because they always have that, that tension on them. It's got a double screw down here for the retention. Um, this this will squeeze in the, the back of the trigger guard because this is where the retention is on the on the trigger guard itself. So when you're putting it in, see if I can get in a good spot. When you're putting it in, this is your retention spot right here. So you see how it, it, it bevels out around the trigger. That's your actual retention spot. So by tightening these screws, you can squeeze a little bit more on there and get more or less retention. And that's just a feel that you're going to need. You're going to need to put, put it on and draw and see if it's too much or too little and, and tailor it to, to your liking. But like I said, nothing bad to say whatsoever. I really like it. Other than it attracting lint like crazy, which I just think is is the nature of the beast when you carry it inside the waistband. Um, I really have nothing bad to say about this holster. I thought it was going to make some noise because of this. I don't know if this is normal. Like I said, I, I tightened it a half a turn and not more than that because I really didn't want to make it too hard to take out. And there, I felt the retention. It, it, held, it held it tight enough and secure enough, yet I was able to draw without it like pulling my pants up and, and out of the way. Really really like it. it it's it, it, I got nothing bad to say about it man 30 I think that 37 dollars I got like the the upgrade for the carbon fiber look that was a couple bucks it, and there was a discount code because it was Christmas time and it was on sale I really like it especially as opposed to me you know using this thing with my old 26 you know this thing for 20 something years um, every day with this 26 um, you could see the the wear marks and the slide just from the from this leather holster coming in and out of this holster. But um, this, I bought it for the 19. It works for the 26. I don't think a 26 would work for the 19 because it's going to be a little shorter. Um, the bottom might stick out, but I, I don't. I would if I had a 19 out of 26 and I just wanted to buy one, I would definitely do this the way I did it. I'm really happy that I that I went with the 19 holster fits the 26 great I really like it I'm gonna give it a big thumbs up and the next review is gonna be will the we the people compare to this how does the we the people compare this is concealment express I'm gonna say like five out of five stars you know <laughs> nine and a half out of ten I, I it's perfect it's absolutely perfect I really like it um, I might even, it's so nice, I might actually buy one for the 20. Actually, actually we'll wait. We'll wait until we, we hit all these these ones. I call these the, the $40 holsters. The, you know, a lot of people call them the social media holsters because they're big on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And they, they advertise on social media a lot. And a lot of times they gimmicky crap. I really like this one. 65 days been wearing it. Well, it's 64, but it's been 65 days. And I don't have a bad thing to say about it. That's it tonight from Axel's Garage. Hope you enjoyed the video. Really, um, we're going to do We The People next, but if you need to buy a, a cheap Kydex $40 inside the waistband holster and you need to buy one now, I, I, I would recommend this to anybody. This is phenomenal. Really like it. That's all we got. Let me know, have you used this? Did you have the same results that I did? Does Kydex attract lint in your pants as well? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And the next one is going to be We The People. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.